So for years now, this story has baffled the minds of many, and for a week and a half, this story has baffled all the scholars. The scholars do not know what's going on, and today we got a brand new update, and apparently there are calls being made to reveal the information and reveal the chat logs, the messages, because, yeah, this story is going nuclear right now. We got an update to the story, and apparently uh, the, the ex-Twitch employees have also said that there have been other streamers that have been also sending messages inappropriately oh, shit. Oh. to minors yeah like the video if you just want to know the truth dislike the video if not i want to know where you guys at check this roll it what's up geeks and gamers it's jeremy coming to you with another video and today we are talking a little bit more about dr disrespect we're here on dexerto and it says andrew schultz calls on dr disrespect to release the messages to the minor that sparked the scandal Holy. uh comedian andrew schultz said that streamer dr disrespect need man we even got comedians now talking about it damn man first we had lawyers we had youtubers then then we even had an actual doctor an actual doctor made a video on dr disrespect that's friendly fire man that's friendly fire and now we got comedians talking about it damn homie this story is bigger than that of area 51 bro needs to reveal what was said in the messages that he admitted to sending to a minor so that people don't it. assume the worst about him and the situation people are already assuming the worst but i agree like they gotta review a review release it because uh, this story uh yeah you, you cannot convince uh people otherwise you know dr disrespect real name guy beam admitted on june 25th that his 2020 twitch ban was due to sending inappropriate messages to a minor <sighs> but vehemently denied allegations that he is a you know what Hmm. I'm no effing you know what are you kidding me anyone that truly knows me effing knows where I stand on those things with those types of people F that that's a different level of disgust that I effing hate even hearing about upon learning about the situation Schultz explained that this was exactly what fans and others will be concerned about believing yeah. that the correct course of action would be where are you guys at or real quick right wait for it there's a lot more stuff coming up as well but where do you lean on this story one if you think he's guilty in the comments if you think that uh yeah he did admit so but i still want to know like the truth right like what what do you mean by inappropriate define inappropriate was it that he was uh sending messages to let's just say a 12 year old girl and in a sexual way if that's the case 100 percent guilty right then he's a pdf file or, or or like what if he was sending a message to let's just say a boy right like maybe 15 year old 16 year old 17 year old that's the thing though we do not know whether it was a girl or a boy of course it's assumed that it was a girl but uh rumor is that it was 17 year old but that's a rumor that's not true we do not know right he just said inappropriate message and uh he was sending inappropriate message and some people are believing that what if he was uh having like that locker room talk right what if he was bullying N not not right uh, not justifying it but of course like if he was bullying a minor that is a lot different than let's just say sending uh, sexual stuff to a minor right like you, you feel what i'm saying there are certain things that are a lot more worse than others if that makes sense so two if you want to know more three if you think that no he's innocent i, I want to know where you guys at with it to reveal the messages why not just come out and say exactly what it was he asked during a segment on flagrant podcast release that shit we're just assuming the worst. Anytime that word gets thrown around, we're assuming the worst. And if you say yeah. inappropriate messages, we're thinking that what we deem inappropriate messages. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, humans are wired that way, right? Like, uh, you, you tell somebody something like that, they're gonna just assume the worst. Uh, absolutely. And I don't blame anybody. We need more evidence, though. We, we just need more stuff. Coming, Schultz for and sure. his co host spent some time discussing the situation prior to this, and Schultz himself mocking the doc and taking jabs at the concept of a twitch streamer saying that an adult who talks to children all day on stream turned out to maybe be a you know what in the report from rolling stones journalist rod slasher well i wouldn't refer to slasher as anything other than a clown because that's exactly what he is and i trust nothing that slasher says reported that doc was made aware of the person's age during their conversation but he indicated that this was no problem and continued on <laughs> It was even said that the company... Yeah, that, that's also a rumor, right? We actually did hear that he was told... The ex-employees, uh, Rolling Stone, uh, Rod Breslow, uh, Slasher, right? He's claiming that he, uh, Dr. Disrespect was told it's a minor. Hey, pump the brakes, doctor! Hey! 
on the brakes right now, Doctor, but he kept on engaging. He kept on engaging. That's what uh, Breslu, Rod Breslu Slasher is saying, uh, which is a rumor for now. But if true, that's crazy, right? Like conversation was no less graphic and sexually explicit nature than before. And that's the end of the article right there. And I have to say, like, in terms of I don't know a lot about Andrew Schultz. Uh, I'm, I, I know of him, but I, I can't say I know a lot about him. Yeah, I heard. But of I agree him, but... with everything he says in this situation, and I think that that's just the common answer that everybody that's looking at. I know there's massive Doctor Disrespect fans out there that are all in on Champions Club and, and all of that. And, and look, I respect that you're a fan of the dude. But as I've said, and I have said consistently, Doc admitted, right? Yeah. I am judging him on the words he said in his tweet. That's mm. the most damning yeah. piece of evidence against Dr. Disrespect right now. It's what he said in the tweet. He admitted to <laughs> doing the very. Yeah, that, that's the thing, guys. Like, this is nobody's opinion. Like, he admitted to it. Now, uh, of course, a lot of people are coping. A lot of people also are having a rational takes, like, define inappropriate, define inappropriate. Accusations have been very big that he was sexting a minor, but he did not admit to that. He did say he was sending messages inappropriately. Sometimes the conversation would lean up inappropriately, uh, inappropriately like, uh, right? Uh, th those are his words. I don't want to make sure, like, I tell you, like, the facts and the rumors and the allegations, because the allegations are the allegations. That's one thing. But Docs uh, himself admitting that's completely different. So that's why right now people that are calling him guilty i i totally understand where they're coming from because doc has admitted doc has admitted right it's not like he's denying it uh and i also understand the side of people that are defending him because what if it wasn't that bad right well how many times we have seen uh people accuse somebody and then later on we find out that uh, they were innocent it happens absolutely it happens but guys you gotta also understand that because i'm seeing this argument go around that okay so if he's guilty why is he not arrested you remember edp right like let's let's be real edp is considered to be the pdf file he is considered to be because they actually caught him red-handed but see the evidence was not enough for the law enforcement to actually take over, right? So guess what? He was let go. Uh, I mean, he wasn't even let go. He wasn't even uh, jailed <laughs> to begin with. So yeah, right? So I, I mean, in this this situation is uh, blowing up. It's completely uh, insane. But people are like, hey, I want to know. I want to see the messages. And on top, uh, these sa the same people that have accused Dr. Disrespect of uh, these situations, they are saying there have been other streamers that have been caught doing the same thing as well right and, and twitch is keeping that shy's hidden yeah like the video if you want the truth coming out but check this everything that he was accused of doing and without giving further context to it everybody is going to assume the worst as they should as they should if someone is accused of doing the things that he was accused of and then that person that was accused of it responds confirming that they were doing the thing that they were accused of doing but then at the same time saying but i'm not this type of person but you don't give any context that's on you yeah so i don't i'm seeing a lot of people defend dr disrespect right now but guys like he himself is not even defending himself he needs to defend himself for others to defend him but people are defending him and he's not even defending himself that that's insane uh, i've read your guys comments some of you are saying that while well, he might be contacting his lawyers he probably was and maybe he is right now as well but he probably was before when he didn't put out that statement but he put out that statement though so it, and he took like a couple of days before he put that uh, put that statement out so to me it feels like that he must have like contacted the uh contacted his lawyer and after I guess uh, deciding uh, after ta speaking with him, he actually perhaps put out that, uh, uh, you know, his statement, maybe, uh, or maybe he's uh, currently talking and maybe they're gonna, uh, he's gonna take action, maybe, uh, we're gonna find out, but, uh, but still, he's not defending himself though, right? I don't run with Twitch company narratives, I don't run with anything from Slasher, because Slasher's trash, but Doc himself said it in a tweet and he did not give further context. The only thing he can do to clear his name is to give the further context with receipts. receipts That's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, if yeah, yeah. he doesn't do that, it's over. I'm not saying he won't have a fan base. I'm not saying he can't recover 
uh, on, on another platform. But His name would be tainted, and it already, it already is tainted, right? But he will never be able to regain what he lost if he is not able to provide receipts and give proper context. And in this situation, you have to assume that he can't do that or he would have already done that. Because the longer you allow the narrative to build with this particular topic, the yeah. worse it gets. And yeah. no one wants that narrative to build when the truth is out there and you can stop that narrative. Yeah, so we I, 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 wa I wonder if Doc has those messages still. Twitch likely have them. Like, let's be real, whatever you put on the internet is forever. So Twitch likely do have it. And here's the thing though, they are saying there have been other streamers that did the same thing. They have been sending the same kind of messages as Doc. When you say same kind of messages, <laughs> same what? Uh, of course, the allegations have been that sexting minors, right? So other streamers are accused, but we do not know their names though. If that list gets leaked though, it's gonna be crazy, bro. Because we do not know how many streamers we're talking, right? It's gonna be the island situation like all over again, bruh. But in the gaming sphere, in the YouTubers, in the stream, not the YouTubers, but the, the Twitch streamers. You feel what I'm saying? That is crazy, man. Weirdest thing I've ever seen. The, the, it goes back to when he first got banned from Twitch and how that whole thing played out and all of the theories that were following. Moist Critical was making videos about all the yeah. theories. All these streamers were m making videos about it. And everyone was speculating, why Doc get banned? Why Doc get banned? Yada, yada, yada. And it turned out that we never found out until mm. recently. And now this whole situation is the weirdest thing ever. But yeah, it's uh, it's a uh, wilder than uh, uh, like the Area 51 conspiracies. I agree. But guys, check out this video on the screen because recently they're after PewDiePie as well. They're going crazy at PewDiePie right now. If you already seen this video, then check out the video on the left because Doctor Disrespect friend Zealander he was caught cheating as well, bro. So like yeah, it never stops. Check out these videos and I'll see you right there.